two, get ready. With the stool, step stool all ready, is Wayne's going to position himself. So what he does is he raises the chair so that he can actually get onto the step stool easily. And you can see it's just a simple up arrow here. And once he reaches that height, then he's going to move the chair up, get his feet on the stool, and he's going to turn off the wheelchair. You notice right here it's just a simple button that you push that will turn it off. There you go. So, as you, the, the driver, you're going to need to hold on to the door because Wayne is going to put his hands up on top and literally pull himself up. So hold the door firmly, and as he pulls up and stands up, then you, the driver's next job is turn the wheelchair back on and move it out of the way. So while he's standing on the stool, mm -hmm. The, we will turn the wheelchair on by pushing the power button on the top here. And the, the wheelchair he uses may look a little different from this one, but the power button will be in the same place. Turn it on, and, and then back the chair up right. out of the way. Right, so that forward. Wayne has space to get himself into position. So as he is, is coming into position... And we are holding on to this securely. So he will then position himself into the vehicle. And he'll pull his legs into the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And we won't need to help him in. At all. At all. And again, if he needs anything, he will tell you. But 98% of the time, he puts himself into the vehicle. Okay, now Jeff, once he's seated here, do we go ahead and remove the stool and close the door? Or leave the door open while we get the chair in place? I usually just leave the door open. He'll eventually lean forward, shut the door, and I'll get the step stool after I get the wheelchair loaded. All right, well, let's go put the wheelchair on the back of the Jeep.